What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Razor Claw Ogre Pond team on the Regulation E ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that subscribe button. It really does go a long way. Helps me grow as a content creator. Plus, you guys get to stay up to date on all of my content. But this team right here was made by Talon VGC. Huge shout out to him. If you guys want to check out this team more in depth or want to go get the Poke Pace for the squad, make sure you head over to his channel. Link is down in the description below. But overall, this kind of strategy with Ogre Pond, just adding the Razor Claw to it, boosts Ivy Cudgel's critical hit ratio to 50%. So 50% of the time, this thing is critting and doing an insane amount of damage. So super excited to be rocking out with this Pokemon in today's team. But uh, the first Pokemon that I want to talk about for today's team preview is in top left-hand corner. We got Hisuian Arcanine with Intimidate and the Choice Band been all over the meta as recently. It's got the Fairy Terror type with Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, Extreme Speed, and Terra Blast. We also have Golden Go on this team for our second slot with Good as Gold and the Life Orb, so it's doing some crazy damage. You got the Steel Terror type alongside with the Make It Rain move, Shadow Ball, Nasty Pot for that special attack boost, and Protect for its final move. We got the one and only Ogre Pond in our third slot with Defiant and like we already mentioned, the Razor Claw as its item. It's got Ivy Cudgel, Stop and Catch him for a coverage move, Sword Dance to boost that, attack stat, and then Spiky Shield for a nice little protect on this Pokemon. We got Thunderous in our fourth slot and this one is all about the special attacking. It's got Volt Absorb with Assault Vest as its item and then Rocket Thunderbolt, Tire Blast with the Flying Terror type, Grass Knot, and Wild Bolt Storm. We got Urshfu in our fifth slot, can never go wrong with this Pokemon with the Unseen Fist and a Splash Plate as its item. It's got Surgeon Strikes, Close Combat, Substitute, and Detect. In our final slot, we got our Speed Control Pokemon and at the same time a great physical attacker, we got Roaring Moon. It's got Protosynthesis with the Booster Energy and then Knock Off, Breaking Swipe, Tailwind, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent the scene for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Razor Claw Ogre Pond team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and I'm going up against Bruno, which I believe this is another YouTuber. I could be wrong. I know I take some teams from him, but if this is the real Bruno, huge shout out to him. Love the content, man. I use some of your teams from time to time, so good luck in the battle. But we're going up against Hisui Arcanine, alongside with Rillaboom, Urshfu, Kilowattrel, and then Golden Go and Iron Bundle. Who should I lead? How should I play this one? I'm gonna go into, I could go into Ogre Pond here, or I could take a bit of some speed control, but they also have a fake out user. They do have a lovely fake out user with Robin. Robin could be a little bit of a problem, but I do like the Ogre Pond here. I do have Defiant on him as well, so I could end up just leading it, right? I could definitely just end up leading it. It is a possibility. And you know what? I'm gonna lead the Ogre Pond. And on top of that, I'm going to lead the Roaring Moon and then from here, we could definitely go into, say, Arcanine. And then last but not least, could go into you. You're not bad with Voltazor. I do not mind you with Voltazor, but Urshfu could be a little bit better. But I really don't want to bring Urshfu if, in this case, they're going to bring Rillaboom. So I'm going to bring in Thunders here and look to grab ourselves from here in match number one. So we'll see who they're leading. We'll see who they're leading, which the Rillaboom could definitely be a play. Kilowattro could definitely be a play. I also have Iron Bundle, and didn't I use this team? Kilowattro Iron Bundle. Really powerful squad. Really powerful squad, so we'll see. Let's see how this one plays out here. He's going to end up sending out Iron Bundle alongside with Arcanine. So we get the Defiant Boost from Ogre Palm, which is actually pretty nice. It's pretty lovely, but at the same time... At the same time, they really... They get a lot going here because they got the booster energy, they got iron bundle, and they also have assuming Arcanine. And I'm gonna try to pop a tail in here for the squad. I think that could be really good for us. So I'm gonna have the booster energy here as well. Put it into our speed stat, and we'll go from there. So from here, I actually want to see Ogre Pond speed real quick. This is my first match playing with this squad. It's at 168. So I mean if we just go spiky shield here and then terrestrialize and pop a tail in, I think that's gonna be a play. I think that's definitely your play. So I'm gonna look to get off a tailwind, get a bit more speed control along with this squad. Try to get after it that way. And he's gonna end up terrestrializing as well. You going maybe fairy type with your uh, Arcanine? 
No, you're going to have to exercise the Iron Bundle. So Iron Bundle's going into straight Ghost type. He's not playing around. So I do have Knock Off for that, which could work really, really well for us. I do like it. And we'll see what Iron Bundle's going to do. Arcanine's kind of scaring me as well. I could see a Flare Blitz coming into that slot. But so I feel as if I can get off Tailwind, we can, we, can pretty, we can be sitting pretty nicely here. So I'll Tarasurize my Roaring Moon just so I don't die out to any Ice Moves coming in here. And then I'll Spiky Shield up with my Ogre Pond as it's plus one on attack, which is nice. Pretty sure I can come out here. This is exactly where we Tarasurize. We're able to soak pretty well here. We can now get off the lovely little Tailwind. And we'll look to get after it. Player Blitz is going to pop through here. And we block that. Okay, so from here, I think we could just go into maybe like an Ivy Cudgel here and just take this thing out. I mean, Stopping Tantrum actually works perfectly. So, you know what? I'm going to go Stopping Tantrum. And I'm going to go for a knockoff here. Knockoff can do some nice damage. How much damage are we doing here? Not bad damage. Stopping Tantrum is going to fly through here. And this should just KO the Arcanine, right? Yeah, we get rid of the Arcanine. Beautiful. Beautiful. So hopefully he's going after my Roar Moon. And I was just gonna go for an icy one here. So that's not too bad. Like, I don't mind that too much. I don't mind that. But I give it the fire boost, which is pretty nice. Pretty gnarly. The speed drop's gonna come in here. Um Hmm. And from here he's gonna go into Rillaboom. So that's not too bad. Rillaboom coming out here. I might just double protect. Do I double protect? I could double protect. I could if I want to. Could also swap out, maybe go into Arcanine here. Which wouldn't be bad, but then we can't E-Speed. Kind of annoying. We do got you. Hmm. Options, options, options. Options, options, options. Honestly, at this point, let's just double protect here. Let's just go for the Spiky Shield. And let's just protect. Let's just wait. Let's just let's just still protect and throw everything out. And of course, he ends up protecting the Iron Bundle. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. So we'll go double protect here. Um, trying to think how I can play this one late in the game. Because the Iron Bundle is just such a problem. He has high horsepower ready to go. Trying to deal damage into this slot. My Roar Moon should outspeed him, which is great. And I might just knock off whatever item he has. But the problem here is Iron Bundle probably outspeeds me at this point, even with this Tailwind. I'm going to hope not, and I'm going to hope to just go after that like that, and then just go for it and knock off and take off item onto Bill Boom. We'll see what he wants to do here. Now he's going to go for Ice Wind, which I don't mind. I don't mind, because Ogre Pond soaks that, and Ogre Pond is going to be able to outspeed the Iron Bundle here. Or not the Iron Bundle, the Real Boom. Unless Real Boom's going for Grassy Guide. We should have full, full speed onto these guys. We take off his Assault Vest, which is massive, and Ivy Cudger can come out here and finish off the Iron Bundle, which is massive. That's huge. That's huge. So I think what our opponent really wanted to do was drop an Icy Wind and uh, KO the Ogre Pond at the same time. But Ogre Pond is just killing it. You know? He's just killing it. But he ends up high horsepower in War and Moon. I think we should have one turn left in Tailwind, which that leaves Ogre Pond an extra turn to maybe get off a hit. But I think from here, this is a perfect time to bring out Arcanine. We can drop a nice lovely Intimidate, which is beautiful. Both teams use Terror already. And no, Tailwind is gone. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. So maybe it's a turn to swap Ogre Pond. I don't know. Gonna end up going into Golden Go. So I kind of have a choice. I have a choice uh, of who I should go after here. We know he has high hor horsepower, which is looking terrifying. And at this point, I might just want to attack the... Uh... I think I'm just going to attack the Roll Boom here. That's exactly what we're going to do. Robum seems like a bigger threat right now. Especially with high horsepower and first-time priority with Grassy Glide. I think we just target down the Robum. High horsepower is going to be four times super effective into my uh, Arcanine slot. So I'm going to pop another Spiky Shield with the Ogre Pond. I'm just going to drop a Flare Blitz. This should just KO you, right? Get it on out of here. Cool. Robum, get on out of here. We take out Robum, and now it's just Golden Go left. We saw Thunders in the back end. Um, and if I survive this turn, Arcanine could just Flare Blitz and get rid of... Uh, Get rid of Arcanine. Or get rid of Golden Go. So can you soak this up? You don't. You get a crit. And now things are looking a, a little scary. I'm not going to lie. A little scary here. Because he outspeeds me. He outspeeds my Ogre Pond at least. 
It also speeds my Ogre finally, so that crit was massive. I do have Assault Vest here, which is not bad. And Thunderbolt can slowly just chunk up some damage, which I like. But still, I'm a little worried now. <laughs> I'm a little worried. I'm not going to lie here. I'm not going to lie. I am going to go for Stopping Tantrum, because if I land it, that's some big time damage. I actually want to see your stats, Ogre Pond. He's plus five. Oh my lord. Chill. He's hitting like a truck. Again, they're probably going for another Make It Rain. But maybe I get a Paralyze here. If I get a Paralyze here, that'd be that'd be massive. The Make It Rain comes out. You are outspeeding me. I have a Soul Vest. I'm soaking really well. Thunderous is soaking shots. He's soaking shots with the Soul Vest. Massive. Massive item here. In the final moments. Thunderbolt's going to fly here. How much damage are we doing here? Not bad. Let's go. Half and the Paralyze. Let's go. And the Paralyze. So now we outspeed. We should be able to finish this one off. Actually, he gets a little bit of a crash train. But I have a feeling that our opponent's going to get a crit here. And I would be so upset. But now comes another Thunderbolt. And that just takes it out. So we get a high roll. Beautiful. GG's to our opponent. What a match. Came down to the wire. We start off today's video 1-0. Second match for today's video on its way. And we're going up against a half Trick Roomish, half Weather team. They got Pelipper. They got Ogre Pond for the rain. And they're also rocking out with Iron Hands, Dust Cobbs, and Ursaluna for the Trick Room side of things. Then they got Landers for a nice little Intimidate. But not going to lie. Ogre Pond... Looking rather nice here. So I am going to end up leading Ogre Pond. I like it. They want to go in the Trick Room. They can go in the Trick Room. It's not that big of a deal. I could honestly just go Golden Go. Not bad. Golden Go would not be bad here. You know what? I think I am going to end up leading Golden Go. I like that Pokemon. I think it's pretty solid here. We can really get after it. But the only problem is like we have no way of stopping Trick Room with this squad. Right? Absolutely no way. I mean, I could maybe just go Earth if they want to go Rain. That is a possibility. Could maybe set up a substitute turn one if I want to, but I kind of like these guys right here. Both of these guys as lead, and then back end maybe going Arcanine, because we do have this extreme speed. And then last but not least, we could just go Urshfu. Or I could go you. I could definitely go you. You're not bad. You're not too shabby. You got Grass on that could deal with some Ursalunas here. Um, you got Thunderbolt that could deal with a few of these other Pokemon. But I think Urshfu is just solid all around, so... I'm going to go Urshfu. I think this one's going to be tough. I think they are going to end up leading Pokemon like Dusclops and, and Iron Hands and trying to just go full blown Trick Room here, which I, I would. Like, it makes the most sense going up against a team like the team that I have. I just think Trick Room's an easy counter to it. Set it up, get cooking, go from there. We'll see what they do. We shall see. But a hot start for us. I love starting 1 0. I love starting 1 0. And yeah, like I said, I kind of knew this lead was going to come out here. Um, they could fake out the Ogre Pond. It's definitely a possibility. Probably going to happen. Um, I could try to set up a Sword Dance and just say, screw it. And, and uh, I could actually just attack. I might just attack. I think there's, there, there's like no point for us not to attack here. So I'm just going to attack. I could set up a Nancy Pot if I want to. Which that wouldn't be bad. I think I do set up a Nancy Pot because at that point I can just go for a Make It Rain. And deal some big time damage. And hey, you know what? I'm gonna double. I'm gonna go Swords Dance and Nasty Plot here. You can you can set up Trick Room. If I go for Shadow Ball, you're setting up Trick Room regardless. You're setting up Trick Room regardless. So he's trying to read the protect. So I'm just setting up my my Pokemon here. I'm just setting him up. I'm going for Nasty Plot. I'm going for Swords Dance. I think that's a smart play. He's gonna try to Volt Switch out of here, which is fine. That's fine. And Duskop's going to set up Trick Room, and then he's going to get out Ursaluna. So Ursaluna's going to come out here, which is looking really scary. <laughs> it's looking really... And they quit the battle. We'll take that all day. They quit the battle after seeing us set up Sword Stance and Nasty Plot. I love it. I love it. We'll take that 2-0 all day long. That last match was quick, but you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below. Did they turn off their console and disconnect because considering i did get the win i did not disconnect it was them disconnecting i feel as they turned off their console and uh we made a quit after doing nasty plot and sword sands let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think do you guys think they turn off the console or do you guys think they actually disconnected because i definitely feel as they turn off their console so i'm gonna count that as a win in my book we are 2-0 going into our third and final battle going up against a uh a parrot team i forget that pokemon's name squawk ability squawk ability team Alongside with Iron Valley, Yamega, um, the Ostrich. I forget that Pokemon's name too. I don't know why. 
I can't remember it, but then Iron Hands and Sinistra. The Ostrich is annoying me because I used to use it. Pathra. That's what it is. S Pathra. But let's get after it. Let's go Ogre Pond again. I like Ogre Pond. He's just the man. I could also go Gold Go here, which wouldn't be a bad lead, especially if they do end up going Iron Hands. But, um, hmm. I kind of want to go into a Tailwind user more so as like Warren Moon. Try to get some speed for his squad and just get after it that way. So I'm going to go both of them. I am going to bring Hisui and Arcanine in the back end. And then last but not least, do I go Urshfu? I feel as I got to go Urshfu. Or I could go like Gold Go. I think Golden Go could be solid as the back end, especially with the Life Orb and the versatility with its moveset. It's got Shadow Ball, it's got the Make It Rain. It can really hit hard. It can really hit hard. And plus, with their Pokemon has some weird typings, right? You got the Psychic typings, you got the Ghost typings. All of them on the field. Yeah, I like team that we picked. But yo, that, that trainer card right there, Titar looking at a stone mountain. Mm, it's beautiful. It's lovely. It's looking, it's looking neat. But Yon Mega comes out here alongside Squawkabilly. So doubling down with the Pokemon in the air. Flying types. Intimidate. I did not even know you learned Intimidate. I'll take that because I got the flying. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't really know what Squawk Ability does too much. But hey, looks like he's intimidating. Looks like he's getting after it. So we're going to boost our energy up here. Lovely little booster energy. I like that a lot. Yeah, Mega probably has Focus Ash if I had to guess. And from here, I could just like, boost Ivy Cudgel and just start teeing off. I mean, I'm plus one on attack. And I don't mind that too much. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm gonna do that, and on top of that, I'm just going to Tailwind grab, grab a little bit of Spooky Train here. I mean, Ogre Pond's fine. I know his shots are not very effective, and I know there's a bug type on the field, but I feel as with Ivy Cudgel, we can still do a nice chunk of damage. And plus, they probably feel threatened with uh, with War Moon on the field. I wish this this uh, War Moon did have Acrobatics, so. though. This would be a perfect time to Rasslize and just start teeing off on him. But screw it, we're 2 0. I want to use uh, Ogre Pond. I know it's not the best to Terrasalize in here, but I want the speed boost. I want the grass damage boost. I like it. I got the Razor Claw. We have a high chance of getting crit. He ends up protecting Yon Mega, which I do not mind. He wants the speed boost. He wants the speed boost. Ivy Cudgel coming out here. Are we going to get that Razor Claw crit? Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> he just KO and Squawk Billy turn one. Come on now. Now give me that Tailwind. So we'll take some speed control. I know he does have speed boost on Yan Mega. That's why he protect it. But yo, Ogre Pond <laughs> ain't like a truck. Don't define boost my Ogre Pond. That's just a bad idea. So out comes Iron Hands. And they're definitely, they're definitely, there's no doubt in my mind they're, they're faking out the Ogre Pond. It's just simple as that. I could go break and swipe to lower attack stat. I could take off items here. And I think just lowering attack stat is going to be my best call because... Like I said, Yamega yeah, probably has the Focus Sash. So we'll take it off with the Break and Swipe regardless. And then we'll get an attack drop on a physical attacker with Iron Hands. So I do like that. So I'm going to come a Terror type. God, Mega, you going to Terrasalize? I would love to see that. Yeah, what you got cooking for us? A flying Yan Mega. Looking to just air slash its way through. But I think you're faking out your air slash in my, uh, my Ogre Pond. <laughs> which is sad day. It's real sad. It's real sad. Ogre Pond will still be able to outspeed. I'm just going to look to KO it next turn. But he's not going to end up faking out here. He's not going to fake out here, which is kind of odd. No fake out. We could have just taken out the Yanmega. A Terror Blast coming through. Not Air Slash, a Terror Blast. Makes sense. So big time Protect coming out from us. And he's going to go for close combat and KO us that way. That's fine. Actually, you're not KOing us. Wow. Wow. Massive. Massive. So from here, I kind of want to get rid of the Yon Mega. Yon Mega's plus two. Actually, Yon Mega might protect. And honestly, I'm not too worried about Yon Mega with my back end Pokemon. I got two great back end Pokemon to kind of clean that one up. Um, I think if we just go into a stop and catch them, we have a chance of KOing you. And I'm going to. Mm, mm, I think Yon Mega protects. I really do. I think we just double down. Actually, we could just hard swap at this point. Maybe an Arcanine. No, you know what? We're just going to double down. We're going to double down. Slot. I'll knock off just in case he wants to swap. But I think Yamega protects. There's a swap. There's a swap. Cool. I do think Yamega protects. So we'll see who he wants to go into. We have Stompy Catcher coming in hot here. Knockoff can do a little bit of damage. Hospitality is going to come out here. Bring him back up to full HP. So that gives him the Sash again. Kind of scary. And Yamega is going to protect Gratis. He wants that plus three. 
boost here. What's that plus three boost? The stop attacks from doing about five damage. What, what item you got? Yeah, eject button. You're just gonna go back into Iron Hands. Okay. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. That's fine, I guess. So, uh, Bake Out could definitely happen here. But I think he's just gonna read the spiky shield again. You know what? I'm just gonna attack. I'm attacking. I'm gonna Ivy Cudgel this thing down. I'm gonna do as much damage as I can. I'm just gonna go for another Breaking Swipe if we can. We'll see. We'll see what they do. Great plays from our opponents. Kind of slow this match down. Let Yon Mega get all those speed boosts. Because Yon Mega is actually close speed. He's plus three on speed. We're plus one and we have Tailwind. And you end up do faking out the Ogre Bond. They didn't do it last turn, so I didn't think they were going to do it this turn. That's going to be protected as well. So there's that attack drop. You might witch all Iron Hands again. They're just going to go for Terror Blast. And he going after you. No, wow. We could just simply protect it. I tried making the read. So they get rid of my Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond got some work done. I'll take it all day. And now we can bring out Arcanine. And Arcanine with the Rock Slide could be the play. Speed Boost Shaman Mega. He's cooking now. He's cooking now. So I don't mind their final Pokemon. If I can get if I can get rid of these Pokemon, we should be fine. We should be fine. Rock Slide should do a huge chunk of damage here. Um... I'm just scared of the Sinister coming in here. Right? I definitely have the Rock Slide. Could actually choice into Flare Blitz instead. Might be a little bit better for us. It might be a little bit better. I'm gonna choice into Flare Blitz here. And I'm just gonna go for a knockoff here. I'm choosing into Flare Blitz. Ah, I'm choosing into Flare Blitz. I'm doing it. I feel like we have to. I think we have to. Especially for Sinister Lake Game, he ends up protecting. This shot mega, yo. Doing me so dirty. Doing me so dirty. Knockoff coming in here. Doing some damage. Boy, boy, it's getting blocked. So he's going for another close combat. Are you going after Arcanine this turn? This is tough. This is tough. It looks like our opponent has this one. Close combat comes in here. We're able to soak. Um. Hmm. But we're not. We're, we're able to soak up a shot, but. We're, we're, we're gonna die here. We're gonna die here. I'm gonna try to go after this thing and just keep doing damage to it, but I don't think we really have enough in the tank here. You're gonna swap back into Sinistra. No doubt in my mind you swap back into Sinistra. And then you're gonna take out my Arcanine, which is gonna be tough news. And then it's just kind of over from there. Nope. Terror Blast coming in here. Go after Roar Moon, please. Nah, smart play. They take out my Arcanine. So yeah, that's pretty much game. So we're gonna go two and one for today's video. Absolutely love this team. This Yon Mega absolutely ripped into us today. We're in the third and final battle, which I love to see. I love seeing cool off-meta Pokemon just destroy. Like it's a, it's a, it's awesome to see. So Yon Mega getting work done. I think our opponent played it better than anything. They played it really well with the protects and the Pokemon around it. Cause we we had Tailwind up for most of the game. But they were just playing it slow, protecting at the perfect time, taking a speed boost, and then having Yon Mega just do massive damage. But I got you, but you're really not going to do too much here. Unless I go nasty... Ooh, wait a minute. Unless I go nasty plot here. And then maybe be able to pick up a double KO. <laughs> That's like the only way. It really is. It really is the only way. And you know, I'm going to give it a try, because you never know. Considering what was it, like two videos ago, I said I was going to run the battle. And then I was like, you know what? Nah, we'll play it out. We ended up winning. Yeah, now I gotta play out all battles. Now I gotta play out all battles at this point. So he ends up with John Iron Hands. Um, he's gonna get back some HP here. And he's gonna go into Sinistra. It's just like such perfect Pokemon to counter him. Counter me here. I do have Life Orb. I did not bring him up to full HP, which is huge. And now I should definitely go for Make It Rain this next turn. It's actually a big turn for us, because now we're plus two. They didn't even attack us. Now we just get a free plus two boost. We love it. We love it. Now we just go for make it rain. Now we just go for make it rain. We're plus two. We're not playing around. Air Slash coming in hot here. How much damage is this doing? Don't you dare flinch me too. Don't you dare flinch me. Don't you do me dirty like that. Cool. No flinch comes out here. Make it rain. Double kill. We in this game. We are in this game. We're still plus one on special attack. They have Iron Hands coming out here. 
we are in this game. We are in this game. In this game. They cannot drain punch me. They're like half HP, right? They can't fake me out. I got Shadow Ball. I'm plus one on special attack. We might be able to KO it. I don't think it has an item, does it? I think we, we use knockoff on that thing. He does not have an item. And now we just rip Shadow Ball, which might actually KO. Go ahead, Golden Go. Do him dirty. You got Life Orb as well. Go ahead. Oh my god. I'm so good at this game. 3 0 for today's video. Another comeback victory. We love it. What a set of matches for today's video. The first battle came down to the wire. Such a solid battle. One on one, we ended up winning by legit one move. Nice little Thunderbolt on our Thunders. Second match, we made our opponent quit just by a Swords Dancing and Nasty Spot. And then that third and final battle, our opponent played really well with the Yon Mega. We just clutched it up with Golden Go and the Nasty Plot. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.